Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 29th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as a look at our world today for earthquakes, volcanoes, and a pretty quiet sun right now. For the past week or so, we've been posting a lot of CMEs and solar flares, and it's been quiet here the last three days. I had to take a little bit of time off, but we are back now here live, and this is the last 48 hours of imagery, looking at incoming cresting activity, southern hemisphere, sunspot region, and a little crackle in the northern on the right-hand side there. Over the past 48 hours, we've seen one C-class solar flare. Plasma tornado whipping around there in the outgoing position. Still pretty active. Watching those plasma filaments interact with each other from the north and the south. A little bit worrisome. worrisome. Looking here at a multi-spectrum, and you can see that happening. On the top right... And the bottom right, from the only very active region, plasma filaments, solar prominence all across the northeastern part, solar tornadoes in the southwest. Having a look at 193 angstroms here, this is where we can see diminishing. Other than that, not too much to talk about on our sun. Pretty quiet for a 48-hour period. Well up until the 29th at uh, 4 o'clock p.m. Having a look at Lasco 2, looking at the last three days of activity, showing the most recent CME events taking off from our sun and all of its activity. Solar X-ray flux remains in a low C range, almost dropping into B. Only notable flares there, C-class. Solar proton flux is low and geomagnetic activity is low, just under 2 for KP index. Real-time solar wind, we're still getting hit pretty hard here, 459 kilometers per second after being up over about 515, I think, from two days ago. Looking at how that is producing our magnetosphere. Looking at the dawn to dusk on the left-hand side and north and south on the right. Our Schumann resonance for today is a power of 11. Pretty quiet number. Looks like yesterday was a pretty busy day. Amplitude of 11, quality of 8.1. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours, as that's pretty quiet as well. Quiet day all around the planet. Although we did have a pretty strong earthquake in Iran, many buildings have have toppled and a few lives lost, many injured. Let's pump it up here. This is the last three days for earthquakes from around the world. Increasing activity through the Caribbean and as well Alaska. But notable earthquakes here up into Northern California and Utah, but also Tofino, Canada and Prince George, Canada. 3.9, 4.0 there, and all this increasing activity up into Alaska, largest through the region, central Alaska, 3.9. Overlooking Kamchatka, normal earthquakes there. Pretty deep earthquake here off the west coast of Japan, northern Japan. And then look at all these earthquakes through the Philippines the past three days. Strongest being a 5.4 through the region. And then we get over to Iran, where they had a 5.8 confirmed, but for some reason it's not showing here. It's only showing all of the aftershocks, and they ranged from 4.1 to 4.7. And I'm sure there was probably a lot more. Right now, USGS is reporting 220 earthquakes through a 24-hour period. Increasing activity through the Rec Janes Ridge up into Greenland. And look at all this activity here the past week through the Arabian plate as it has been very active. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. 
Most recent earthquake here, Mozambique reporting a 4.7 as well a 4.8 here, Mid-Indian Ridge. And no earthquakes in Fiji. No earthquakes, Papua New Guinea. And still pretty quiet considering across North American plate. We have gone through that Mercury retrograde the first part of January. We saw the increase in earthquakes. But now we're going to watch for an increase in tectonic plate movements over the winter solstice. As we are going through, of course, the winter season. And this is all connected. This is the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Stay safe, stay aware, and prepared, everybody. Having a look at Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world, and as well noting out the most recent volcanoes getting updated, looking at Reventador in Ecuador, uh, Popocatépetl in Mexico, Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia, Fuego in Guatem Guatemala. Scrolling through the... 200 hazards here with the Pacific Disaster Center. A lot of them are floods, as you can see. Sabancaya in Peru. Wildfires, Ecuador, Swiss to Jima in Japan, Ibu in Indonesia, Chikarachki in Russia. This is why I wanted to scroll down here. That newly awakened yesterday. As well, Cotopaxi in Ecuador still going. Semeru in Indonesia, Era in Japan. Definitely time for a volcano activity report. Look at all these volcanoes. Santa Maria of Guatemala. Wow. Heads up, everybody. Stay tuned for our next video coming up here, giving a full number on all of the active and erupting volcanoes from around the world as well. Planetary positions for the next month. Having a look here, satellite imagery, big system over the North Pacific and as well running through the Atlantic. Pretty strong system heading up into northern India as well, crashing into the Tibetan Plateau. And a strong system moving through the Mediterranean. And tropical cyclone Cheniso still alive. About to be torn apart as it heads towards the Antarctic. Now let's get to the windy models here as we'd have quite a developing situation here. Pretty strong system Monday, Tuesday for Iceland, but then it quickly whips into the United Kingdom. So heads up, you could have a straight on hit with this pretty strong system. Like very near tropical system, tropical force winds. With this low pressure, but looking in the long range forecast next Saturday, first week of February, we've got some very big systems developing, and one of them resembles a winter hurricane. Look at the size of this thing producing 117 kilometer per hour winds across Greenland and is and across uh, parts of uh, Nunavut and as well. Labrador, northern Quebec, you're all going to see some pretty strong winds and blizzard-like conditions first week of February. Winter hurricanes? You don't say. Those were packing 117 km per hour winds very close to tropical force. Now let's get to the precipitation models here for the next few days. Watching big, cold, high pressure move in across North America. Systems will be scattered as that cold front moves through. Not too much to talk about for storms until the long range. First week of February, pretty strong system moving through the Atlantic provinces. And as well, penetrating BC, Washington, and California in the long range. You've got a big system heading your way. Overlooking South America... Now up into Europe. As we have a strong low moving through the Mediterranean now. And that's going to be crashing into the Tibetan Plateau here the next few days. But it's interesting how these systems are getting squeezed with the polar vortex. And 
gaining velocity in their low pressure systems from that block. Overlooking the West Pacific and Australia, atmospheric rivers producing a lot of moisture in the south there. Flood warnings and thoughts and prayers going out to everybody in Auckland, New Zealand. And watch in the long range forecast a lot of moisture for parts of eastern Australia and the northwest, right up into the northwest as well, New Zealand. Other than that, we've got a couple tropical systems developing in the long range for the Indian Ocean. And then pretty strong system will be developing here through the Mediterranean. Set to bring some nasty systems and weather to the West Indies. Now I wanted to share with you here is our upper level winds. This is at 100,000 feet. These are pretty much the top level winds. That's our polar vortex. Coming in at 424 kilometers an hour. Big high pressure ridge there. Centered over Alaska. Now this is a pretty strange polar vortex this year. I've been talking about it already. Something is up. Something has changed. I'm going to show you here the whole map around the world. Right here, that's the Tibetan Plateau. You can see those winds are going around that. Just amazing. This is all animations brought to you by nullschool.com. Check it out if you want to see and interact with all of this. Wanted to show you last year versus this year. A pretty strong difference in the wind directions, especially equatorial. Heads up, bro, baby. Heads up, everybody. Much love, and I appreciate you tuning in today. Don't forget to smack that like button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.